Welcome to the Filthy Frank Show. If you're feeling suicidal, you've come to the right place. Because I want to fucking kill myself as well. <laughs> Fuck you, I hate all of you. Yeah, I was doing fine. Started fresh out here in the West for two years. Barely ever on my mind. Till a friend called up telling me that you gon' move here. Oh, my darling, I've been stalling. I've been waiting for you so damn long. I want all you and your body coming closer. Ain't nobody gon' know that when we put on a show, the low and not a soul. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Ryan the Professional, back again with another video. So, um, this video right here, um, I'm not gonna be negative, I'm not gonna be positive, I, I'm not even gonna be neutral, I'm just gonna be honest. Um, I had a lot of people hit me up about this, I was at work, and, um, I saw a lot of streams related to this, saw a lot of people giving a mixed reaction. Uh... I don't know how I react to this. I really don't. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I know that E3 is the main event that all of us are looking forward to, right? I know in 2018, a lot of people are very submissive to a lot of things that are happening in the gaming industry, such as DRM, such as, yes, believe it or not, you're submissive to DRM. Just look at the practices that are happening. A lot of you are submissive to it and you don't even know it. Um, <laughs> you know, us having to pay the equivalent of a gaming PC with these new next gen consoles, basically, you know, with them having new upgraded, um, counterparts every so, so years, right? <sighs> um, this event, man, this event, I'm actually going to question why this is even a thing. Now I get it. It's to really, it's really to get eyes on things, right? As opposed to them announcing it like it, through IGN, right? You know, because they announced a few things like see if these getting some new updates and a few other games getting updates on the Xbox One, which is fine. They announced some new backwards compatible games, which you can't go wrong with backwards compatible games. You know, you can't go wrong with that. That's not the problem. The problem is, it's 2018. And you already know where I'm going with this, and um, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but the bottom, the bottom line is in 2018, there's no AAA must-have games on the Xbox One that are exclusive to that platform that give people like me an incentive to actually go and buy it. Let's be real here. After watching this event, did you really watch this event and go, you know what? I'm canceling my Spider-Man pre-order, or after watching this, you go, you know what? I'm getting an Xbox One. Definitely since I'm buying Spider-Man. Did you really look at this event like that? No, nah, you didn't. Did anything they show make you interested in buying an Xbox One in 2018? Of course not. PUBG, we already know PUBG. We already know, the, we already know all the info on PUBG. Doesn't matter if you show more. It doesn't. Doesn't matter what you show for PUBG. PUBG. But then here we go again. At the end of it, um, Microsoft treating this whole thing like a joke. Microsoft, this is why I don't have, like, I don't have faith as much as a lot of people do in E3. Even though I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt this year, because I think they'll wow us because we don't know what they have. But we know Sony, for the most part, we know they what the most part they have to show, right? We know what Sony has to show. And, you know... We know what to expect, and we know we're going to be wild about what we're looking forward to, right? Microsoft, we don't know what they have to show. But I'm looking at an Xbox event, and you got people already damage controlling this. You got people who are very submissive to it saying, well, this is an event where they don't have to show anything must have. That's what E3 is for, and that's where you're wrong. They hyped this event up as if it was something to watch, as if it was something you had to watch for Xbox. They always hype these up. Just like Nintendo Directs. Nintendo Directs are hyped up because those are something that you gotta watch to see what's coming for your up and well, for your Nintendo Switch. 
you know what up and coming experiences and accessories or whatever are coming to the switch that's where microsoft got this idea from the nintendo side the directs that's basically where they got this whole idea from so for them to copy nintendo and not even so much as try is what's killing everybody's expectations for the xbox and really kills everybody's hype and really their reason to even want to even invest in the ecosystem it's absolutely true i look at this in 2018 and uh, a lot of people say going in with open mind. And I did. I went out, went in this with open mind. Zero expectations. And I still left this whole event like, well, that's an hour of my life. I can't get back. So I guess it's best for me personally. I guess it's best for me, even though I'll, I got to watch them regardless. You know, I got to give my opinion on those for you guys. And a lot of you like to see these, but something tells me i just don't want to watch these anymore i really don't want to watch these type of xbox events inside xbox right that's the name of this inside xbox they got the pretty little logo they got the pretty little intro and all this extra stuff they showing off clips of people playing games as if they're mlg since when does microsoft care about people's you know scoring crazy goals in rocket league since when does microsoft care about people saving people in fortnite or doing crazy plays in Overwatch. Just when do they care about that? They don't. There's all an intent to pull wool over your eyes. And wasn't a bad show? No, it wasn't a bad show. This was a nice show to have, right? This was a nice show to have if Microsoft was in the running, right? They were number one or not necessarily number one. Let's just say they were just laid back. You know, they, they did what they needed to do. The Xbox One was in a better uh, state. We had a lot of games for the Xbox One, and we would be good. And, you know, this has been great. I have no problem with the show. No, the show was fine. I have no problem with the show. But I have a problem with the lack of effort, the lack of interest in the very things that we know Microsoft is known for, the, the type of things that we expect better from Microsoft in 2018. That's what I'm angry with. Well, not really angry, but I'm upset with. So somebody can say, I'm, I feel I'm a little entitled, not really entitled. I mean, even though I should be, I think all of you should be entitled right now. There's really nothing on the Xbox. God of War comes out in nine days. Spider-Man comes out in September for, Spider uh, for Play uh, PlayStation. You know, you guys calling us entitled, but here you guys go and making up excuses for kids to try to make it seem like, oh, Insomniac is the bad guy for not releasing Spider-Man on the Xbox. Spider-Man was exclusive to the PlayStation. You knew this years ago. And what did you do? Did you demand Microsoft do something on your end to get you guys something like that? Did you demand? No, you didn't. You damaged control. You said it was going to flop. And here you guys are now crying that it's not coming to the Xbox One. Hey, who did that? Who messed up there? You did. And now you got to, you know, face the, face the music. I'm not going to sit here and rub it in your face. I, I, I'm, I'm not in the mood for that. Nope. I don't even care for that sort of thing. I don't. All I know is... Uh, this type of stuff right here is why a lot of people will not and just cannot put no faith in Xbox. Or will not put no faith in Microsoft. You know? I looked at this whole entire event. Okay? I took time out of my day. I woke up early. I, I wanted to see some game related stuff. I said, sure, I'll watch this. I left this entire event scratching my head. I'm pretty sure Sick Humor done tore this show to uh, shreds. I think I saw Randall Thor give it a nice review. You know, Randall Thor is cool. I know he, he'll find some great stuff in this, but me personally, it's like the stuff that I found in here that was good just doesn't outweigh the reality of what we're in right now right we still got a console that literally dropped five six months ago and it's the most powerful console on the market right so it's, it's the most powerful console on the market and we just don't have that experience that really screams by me we don't have nothing i was expecting something like that or not necessarily the announcement of something right Maybe some teasers, some trailers. They don't even have to show much. They can do what, what Sony did with Tenchu or Bloodborne 2, whatever that game is, where they show like little little, little device, you know, moving, and then it said um, Shadows Die Twice. They can do something like that 
and said, you know, reveal will be at E3. There was nothing like that. So I ask you, I really do ask you, do you really think Microsoft has anything for E3? You know, do you, do y'all even think Microsoft has anything for E3? Me personally? I don't want to say no, because I want to be positive. I want to see more. I want to see more competition out there. But it's just that gamer inside of me, right? It's just telling me, Ryan, go in this the same way you promised you, yourself you were going to go into Sony's this year. And that's with zero expectations and just, you know, a level headed or a level head. And I think I will do that. I think I will do that because um, I'm tired of being overhyped up for stuff. And then when we get that epic, or we get that main reveal, right? It's not even anything, you know, worth watching. So, uh, my review for the event, you know, the Inside Xbox, I mean, I thought it was okay. It was an okay show. Not a bad show. It wasn't boring or anything. I, I didn't, at least I didn't find it boring for the most part. I did find it a little just unnecessary, right? So, if I had to rate the show, you know, like, in terms of a 10 rating, um... I'd give it like a seven. The show wasn't bad. The show wasn't bad. Let's be real. The show, let's be fair. The show wasn't bad. The problem with the show was the fact that there was nothing in the show that solidified you to be hyped for Xbox. You and announcing stuff for PUBG. You announcing back more backwards compatible games. And you, you know, just really acting like you guys were an MLG type of uh, commentator type of things. That type of stuff really just makes me look at Microsoft and really understand truly and really makes me come to that conclusion that they don't know exactly what they're talking about or not really know what they're talking about. They just don't know who they are in 2018. That's the best way to put them together. Microsoft does not know who they are in this, this generation. The 360 generation, they knew who they were. They were Microsoft. They were a gaming company that can bring the best that could bring the best out of sony what are they this generation i don't know so that's it that's it um i shouldn't see no people going crazy in the comments because you know i thought the show was okay it was okay show but just the content and what was in it and how they presented certain things yeah i'm not interested i really am not interested and hell i don't think i want to watch episode three but Odds are I'm going to have to watch episode 3 to see whatever they want to do next. So there you guys go. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. <sighs> Make sure you leave a comment. Uh, follow me on Twitter. It's on the banner up top. You know, continue our conversations there. And um, subscribe to the channel if you are new. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Inside Xbox. Uh, another day, another just, well, I don't know. I, don't even, I can't even think, you know, coherently right now. I can't think logically right now. I really can't in terms of something clever to say, but I really don't. So, just another day, another whatever you insert there, okay? You guys have a good one. I'm out of here. Deuces.